Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format numbered and bulleted lists. Let's get started. So I have a PowerPoint presentation open and on here I have a title as well as a text area down below. Now if you wanted to say change the font size of the text in this area, what a lot of people do is they click inside here and select all of the text. Well that's not really the best way to go about this because we want to change everything inside and we want to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. So rather than selecting all of the text inside, simply go to this border area around the text. This is called placeholder area. And on this one, if you click that placeholder on any of the dotted line areas, like right here where my cursor is at, you'll get the four directional arrow. And if you click that, it'll make that a solid line selecting your placeholder text. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to click on a sizing handle, which appears at every corner and every side. You don't want to click the rotation handle up at the top. Instead, just click right on that line and it'll select the placeholder text. Now, one of the cool things about selecting the placeholder text is that you can then make any sort of font or paragraph or any other changes to anything inside the placeholder and it will affect everything within it. So this placeholder text is currently size 18. I'm going to change it to 24. I go to the home tab, the font group, I click on the font size arrow, and I go down to 24. It'll give me a preview of what it'll look like, and then I simply click and it applies. So pretty cool, it'll uh, change the size for all of that uh, text that is inside of that placeholder. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this one's mostly gonna cover numbered and bulleted lists. And a bulleted list is called an unordered list. It's a list of items preceded by small dots or shapes, which do not indicate order or rank. This is different from a numbered list, which is ordered. And th these are preceded by numbers, which indicate a sequence of rank of the items. So you'll see that I have a bulleted list applied to this one because we see that little bullet right here. Now, this is a not this is not a bulleted list because it's just simply one piece of text or one paragraph in this case. So I'm gonna remove the bullet from this one. I go to the home tab, I go to the paragraph group, and in the top left of the paragraph group, you will see bullets and it's currently highlighted, letting me know that that bulleted list is currently selected. And if I click on that bullets command, it turns that off and the bullet goes away. Very good. All right, let's go down here to slide three now. On slide three, it says injury prevention, protect guests. And then on here, it is a bulleted list. We could tell because it has bullets. So after we display slide three, I'm gonna click inside that placeholder, and then I'm gonna click on the placeholder to select all of the bullets within it. Now on this one here, this is actually a sequence. This is the order that you should go in for injury prevention. So we do not want this to be a bulleted or unordered list. We want this to be an ordered list. So we are going to change this to numbering. And you can find numbering again in the paragraph group. So let's go to the home tab, paragraph group, and you'll see right here, numbering. And if you click on numbering, it will change it to numbers one through six in this case. So there we go. Now you may be wondering, can I change the shape or color of a bulleted or numbered list? That answer is definitely yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that on slide four. On slide four here, you will see a uh, text area down below and I'm gonna click inside there and then I will um, show you how to change individual bullets in this case. Well. In the previous two examples, I clicked the placeholder to change all of the bullets, but let's say that I just wanted to change these three right here. I highlight them. I don't typically like to highlight from front to back because you have to be very specific on where you click. You can't accidentally click on the bullet or you'll drag the bullet. That's not gonna work. You can't click before the bullet. Actually, you can, but I, I never do that. That just seems kind of weird to me. Instead, I go to the very end and I drag to the front. All right, that's the way I do it. Do it whatever way works for you. So select those three bullets right there. Now we're gonna learn how to change and customize our bullets a little bit more. Let's go to the home tab, paragraph group, and instead of clicking the bullets command to deselect it, there's a little arrow next to it. Click on the little arrow. That's called the bullets arrow. Now you'll see a list of different bullets. All right, you have some that are none, filled round bullets, 
hollow round bullets, and so on. So you have lots of different choices to choose from. So what we're going to do is I see that this one right here says star bullets. That looks um, good. That's the one that it currently is. I could tell because it has that highlight around it. All right. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on bullets and numbering at the bottom. When I click bullets and numbering, it's going to open up the bullets and numbering dialog box. This is where you can change the size and shape of a bullet. Now one of the cool things is you can change it to any size or any shape that you want. I've shown in my PowerPoint 2016 playlist how to change it to a picture for instance. But in this case, we're going to simply go here and you see size is listed here. And you'll be able to look through all of the different sizes as well as the colors. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just choose these filled square bullets in this case and I'll hit the drop down arrow on color. You'll see here and I could choose, let's say this red one right here, that may be kind of fun. All right. And then I could always go over here and customize them further if I wanted to, if I wanted to use a different symbol from any of the symbols in the symbol gallery. But I will choose this red filled square bullets and let's say I want them to be 75% of the size since they are a little less important than our first list level bullets. I click OK, and there we go. Those look good. All right, and so that is a little bit about bullets and numbering, when they should be applied, when they shouldn't be applied, as well as what type of bullets to do, and finally concluding on changing the size, color, and shape of the bullets that you would like. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you have any comments, put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlist page, choose the PowerPoint 2019 playlist. I've listed the videos in order of difficulty from just beginning all the way through advanced topics. So. If you enjoy, again, if you enjoyed this, um, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.